Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto, and we're not going to be looking at metal today. Uh, but welcome to your daily updates on uh, on Bitcoin. I hope you are, I hope you all had a great weekend. Um, we'll do a full update. I mean, in general, um, the markets right now are, are pretty shit, um, and there goes to monetization. Um, but no, I mean the markets are bad. I mean, if you if you look at this, I mean th this is just a, a very big downtrend we've been in. Um, I was slightly bullish yesterday, but when once the once the, the selling started in the in the evening, or no, actually in the afternoon already, I also um, I also send out in, in the premium group like all right, well this doesn't look great. I would be very very cautious, all right. And then and then what you saw if we if we look at some uh, if we look at some more details, which of course we will do. Um, then you'll see that we had some huge liquidations already yesterday. Um, uh, no, actually, like we, we had the most liquidations um, overnight and in the morning. And even like usually after those liquidations, what you see is that, all right, well, that's the bottom. And then we actually start to be a little bit more bullish. And after the first liquidation, we just kept dropping. And then right now there's some sort of a chance of a, of, of a bounce. All right. What you can see is that we had a ton of short positions being opened basically in, in the night. Um, here and there a bit of a close then we had some huge liquidations down here and so far so that's around 62,000 so far that has been the bottom and then you can actually see that in the last uh, let's say two hours or something uh, long orders have been opened as well and that's um, that's good because of all those shorts or, or orders being opened what that means and that you, you can also see that right right here um, is that there's a lot of liquidity all the way up to 64,000, or at least it seems like that. I mean, liquidation heat maps like these cannot always be trusted. Um, but so, so, so it is very much, what am I doing, doing here? Um, but no, so, so there is a lot of liquidity to the upside. So then what, what we, what we hope for is some sort of a spike up that we get some short liquidations and then hopefully that this momentum we see right now, uh, continues all right because momentum like an, an open interest increase like this is is not necessarily good um especially if, if it's a lot of short orders being opened right and, and the majority of this move is still short orders being opened um and then like i said last two hours it's also long orders so i do think and also if you if you look at the technical situation like we are at a major signal we, we are at a major support level here at uh, at sixty two thousand. Uh, so some sort of short-term support from there would also be expected. The thing is, is that I think it's better to to wait this out. Um, the the structure right now in the markets is very much like th this is a, and we've been talking about this for weeks already, uh, but that this could be a, a big consolidation, right? So basically that we hit the top right here at 71,500, and that we are now dropping down to the bottom, which you can also see right here is around 60,000. So then if, if we're so close to the bottom, that means that, yes, we can find some support from here, but it's better to wait for some confirmation. Like right now, due to due to mo the, the momentum that we're gaining, I, I do think at some point of time from this support level here at 62,000 and 61,500, I do think we'll, we'll uh, try to liquid liquidate or eliminate those shorters at some point of time. Um, but for now, I'm not convinced yet. All right. I'm not I don't think it's it's I, I don't think we're getting enough momentum to liquidate them already. Um, and the selling pressure we've seen in the last 12, uh, 12 and, and 16 hours, uh, I, I would say, is so huge that, yeah, I do expect support from that major support level right here at 61,000. But I don't really see enough um, enough confirmation for that for that right here. All right. You could zoom into the one hour time frame and start to look for some sort of a, a bullish breakout here above 62,600, for example. Uh, but personally, I think it's most likely we'll drop down a bit lower into support. And then at some point of time from that support, we'll gain some momentum. We'll hunt the the, 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 the liquid liquidations of the shorters. And then from there, uh, if we just liquidate the shorters and the momentum drops back down, Bitcoin will continue to be bearish as well. Um, but during that moment that we liquidate shorters, which, like I said, I don't think is here yet. Um, that's also a moment where we can reverse. But overall, we're bearish and I don't see any reason yet why we would stop this um, this structure we have right now. So that's what I expect. Um, we have some economic news later this week. I'll try to keep you updated on that. But for now, uh, this is what you need to know. All right. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye.